going on? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of Mario Ramon Review. And the reason I played the pre pleasure principle tonight is because Veronica was giving you the pleasure principle here tonight on the haves and the have not. We are going to do a review on the haves and the have not. Now, listen, if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button and also click the bell so you can get all the new videos as they come out. OK, and also don't forget to um, like and comment and pass it on to your friends if you think your friends will like the videos. Oh, yes, I'm promoting fashion and safety because you know it is thanksgiving and tomorrow it's going to be thanksgiving and we want to see our friends and things that we haven't seen them and we still want to give them a shout out baby this is a shout out okay and it's subtle you know a little olive green pants because you pick up the olive green in here and you can do it with wherever you want to do it with but a little shout out and you still want to be healthy you know and hug the people honey eat your potato salad and go home healthy okay Okay, so, um, well, first of all, I just wish happiness for you and your family before we start this because I just want to give you some good positive energy and thank you everybody for the good comments that you have been sending me. I want to take time out to say that. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, let's get to the video of the haves and have not reviewed season premiere. Okay, so I will say for premiere, it was drier than a camel's ass. In the desert, July 18th. It was for a premiere. Okay. So, David, you know, when the show end, David was with this lady, which he, he knew he should have been with this lady. She, you know, she was a, a scam artist friend. He knew this lady was a scam artist and she was her friend. So two plus two is four, even when you're counting pesos, pumpkin lamb. So I don't understand. How did you get here? Everybody say, nobody's supposed to be here. Nobody's supposed to be here, David. How did she get in your bed to even try and set you up? So she um got in his bed, made love. And then after they made love, she was like, honey, you gonna buy me a house. And he was like, you crazy bitch. No, I'm not. And she said, yes, you are. She was like, honey, we did what we did. Your DNA is on me. Shake it to the left. Shake it to the right. And he was like, oh, no. And so she was like, so you're not going to take care of me? And he was like, no. And so, excuse me. When you talk this much, if you don't get thirst, thirsty, it's a lie. That's what my grandma used to say. She'd be like, honey, if you talk that much and you don't get thirsty, it's a lie. So let me wet my whistle. So anyway, um, he should have just never been with her. And so she slammed her arm in the door. She slammed her arm. She broke her damn, she broke her own arm, honey. She just, she fucked herself up. And then she runs downstairs. He raped me. He raped me. He raped me. And his security is standing outside like a deer in the headlights. Time to grab her. You know it ain't true. You hurt you. You're David's witness. Call the police and get this crazy bitch off the property. Well, da -da -da -da. so people would have believed that, right? Well, when she came back in the house, and the neighbors had already heard, so they called the police. She all out in front of this million dollar mansion, just screaming and yelling, honey. Just, you know, patting her hair and chewing gum at the same time, honey. Talking loud on the speakerphone, child. You know what I'm saying? And so, y'all so crazy. Y'all are crazy. But I love you, pumpkin lips. <laughs> I want to laugh with you because some of this shit do be fun now. It does be funny, and I find, and I do these shows very spontaneous. Like I'll have key things, but honey, it is spontaneous, and I be cracking up about this shit. When you find out about it, I find out about it too. So, this girl was patting her weed, chewing her gum, and talking on her cell phone loud, honey. She was giving me that, okay. And so, anyway, what kind of tea do y'all like, honey? I have me a salted caramel, and we have a lemon. We could do a lemon. Oh, uh, this the lemon. We have a kettle. We can get you some tea. And this is tea. Would you have it right now? All this is alleged. Okay. Just in case I say something. Everything is alleged. We saying it on this. So now we ain't got to say it no more. Okay. And so anyway. Um, 
So David played the video back. He has some kind of device that rich people have where it records every room and it recorded her setting him up so he can now sue her for fraud. I almost passed out. Do you hear me? And so, you know, David and Veronica, they're um, ex husband and wife, but they got the game on lock so far as games and running game on someone. Because Veronica, she ran game on that one guy who was trying to run game on her. Him and his wife is trying to run game on her, and she's running game on him. She invited him over so he can get she can get to the truth. Because she was like, I can't get to the truth with your wife around, honey. So leave your shadow at home. It's, it's nighttime. You, don't nobody have a shadow at nighttime, honey. It's nighttime. Leave her at home, okay? Fuck you up. And so she was like, come over. And so he come over. Oh, my God. He invented gorgeous. Oh, if you Google fine, three of his pictures will come up. Like, he is fine. His six-pack has a six-pack. He has the good hair, honey. I mean the Al DeBarge hair. Love me in a special way. What more can I say? He had the Al DeBarge hair. Do you hear me? I used to have the Al DeBarge hair before I, I, I went to the ball. Before well, I used to have the hair before I went to the ball. You got me talking country. Okay. I used to have the hair. Okay. I did. So we have so much to talk about. So anyway, Veronica called this guy over. This this guy and his wife, they're trying to scam artist Veronica in some way. We don't know what it is because they haven't, you know, revealed that yet. But it's with David, the guy who raped Hannah. And and so, you know, after he left Veronica's house from making love with her, and she lured him in that house. She had thousands of dollars on the bed and she's like we're gonna make love on this money honey no we're not that money got so many germs on it honey honey you're gonna have to get a shot inside of your e-i-e-i-o making love on top of money pumped around everybody's that had their hands and they didn't cough and they didn't oh we don't know where this money been okay we do not know where it's been and we're not making love on it i'm gonna throw up in my mouth okay in my mouth. That's not sexy for me. Honey, you can show me on paper and transfer funds. It's just as sexy. My left nipple will still get just as hard. Okay? I'm gonna sit down on it. So, Catherine, she's still in jail. She's been in jail for 400 years. Literally, Catherine went to jail... The day she was one of the first people met, oh, Noah met when he got off the ark. She was there. Oh, where where are you from? Like, Catherine has been in jail that long. It's like she's been in jail for, for years. And I'm like, well, they let her out. They won't let her call her lawyer. And so now she's trying to ask this beautiful police officer, this, oh, this police officer is fine, this black guy. And she was like, I'm Catherine Frank Cryer. Can you please call my lawyer and just let him know I'm here? Because they won't call her lawyer. But just the tea on that. Okay. Just like I said, just this the tea on that. Let me give me a little bit. Okay. Ooh, it's so hot. Okay, so listen. The T on that is, if you have $286 million and you are in jail, if your lawyer doesn't know to come and find you, that's not your fucking lawyer. Like, that's not your lawyer. Like, you need a new... I'm looking for a new lawyer, baby. A new lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a new lawyer, baby. A new lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Honey, if I am in jail and I have $286 million, you know it is buzz around the town. Oh, Catherine is in jail. Honey, the country club is lit up. The Everybody at the country club is patting their head, chewing their gum, and talking on their speakerphones loud. Oh, did you hear about Catherine? Oh, she won't be coming to the Hamptons this year. She's incarcerated. Talking loud, bitch, on their cell phone. You hear me? 
So, right. <laughs> I had to go ahead and laugh at that because that was funny. <laughs> you got to take a little time. I need to smell the roses. That was funny. But I'm just saying, you know. And so Wyatt, Catherine's son, who shot her shot at her and she flew down in the bathtub water and made him think but you know his crazy ass is a wonder he ain't seen no blood and finished the job but he wanted to go menendez brothers on his parents and shit and because he's a drug addict and he wanted his inheritance i want my inheritance shut the fuck up and snap the fuck out of it i am so damn tired of wyatt it used to be cute but when you have a cute person or a really beautiful person and they're an asshole or just a damn nitwit it just turns your whole view bitch i'd rather sniff uh, have a dog shit convention and sniff shit all day long than hang with somebody like wyatt i want my money so i can snort it up and kill myself like i did last time he then killed himself honey and came back to life and then he wants some more i ain't got time for that i don't have time for that Give him $45,000, honey, and let him do what he gonna do with that $45,000, even though you have $286 million. He needs $45,000 to finish the job. Just gone. Gone! I, I just can't. I can't with Wyatt. I cannot. Veronica knows she invented evil, honey, with that pleasure principle here. And she was trying to lure that man in there. She had that pleasure principle here. She was like, I know. Just... I, I know y'all don't have a baby. She started reading everything about him. And he didn't know what the hell was happening, honey. Shit, that's what you get for messing with a vet. A vet don't be playing. And, oh my God, what else do we have? Oh, and this is what I want to say. If Catherine has $286 million and she loved Hannah so much, why is Hannah living in a can of sweet peas? Like, you know, the three, four dollar cans at the grocery store. She only lives in one of the hands. It's like, you know, her family risk getting shot and shit. She risk getting shot while she just like laying there sleeping shit. And you have $286 million, bitch. And you're like, I love you. You're my friend. You got me through. But then she did give her a house. So see, there you go. There you go. That answers that. She gave Hannah a fierce house and Hannah like, I can't take it. I would have been like, thank you, bitch. Not like, thank you, bitch, but I would have been like, thank you, bitch. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. What else are we going to talk about? I wrote it down. I wrote it down. I wrote it. I think we pretty much hit everything. We didn't hear a lot about um, Mitch. We didn't hear a lot about Jeffrey. We didn't hear a lot about Candace. You know, we didn't hear a lot about um, them. You know, David and his little conundrum that he's in. You know, I think he was stupid for falling for that. You know what I'm saying? She she can't stop rubbing her the middle of her insides, honey. And she all like this. Oh, David, please. Oh, please, David. Give me just one more chance. Oh, man, oh, man, please. Oh, please, please. Just rub her legs like a cricket. Like her zodiac sign is cricket. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Honey, you know when you were cricket and you doing this, it is time to make pumpkin lamb. You hear me? Ain't nobody got time for that, honey. Why would you even want to mess around with somebody who begging you like that? That's not sexy. Shit. Honey, I would have been like, wah, 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 wah. What's wrong? I got a lot on my mind. So maybe we should try another time. Ding, ding, ding. You finally, you, you have it. <sighs> Girl, gonna sit down on that pumpkin lamb. I'm just saying, if you begging like that, one thing I want to say is, Hannah got all these fine men all over her. What kind of gospel perfume is she wearing? I ain't trying to be funny. Is it called the Vicky Winans? Is it called the um, Leandria Johnson? What in the name of perfume is she spraying to make all these fine men be all on her? And they have always been on her because Benny's father is fine. He's one of the finest men that have came on show. And I thought Benny was fine. But shit, 
He get it from his daddy. He get it from his daddy. Everybody say, he get it from his daddy. What? He get it from his daddy. Hey, hey. He get it from his daddy. What you say? He get it from his daddy. What you say? He get it from his daddy. Who he get it from? He get it from his daddy. Right. He gets it from his daddy, Pumpkin Lamb. I was like, Benny's um, daddy got shoulders and shit. Honey, uh-huh. As soon as he come home, uh, sit down. Shit, we saved you a chair, motherfucker. Sit down. And you massage them shoulders with um, hickory smoke barbecue sauce. When a motherfucker find like that, honey, you better get you some barbecue sauce. That's the trick, pumpkin lamb. Take your shirt off. Hickory smoke, honey. He brought, ooh, I got hungry all of a sudden. You just keep the blindfolds on, pumpkin lamb. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna sit down on it, honey. You better try that hickory smoke. <laughs> so, Benny's father is fine. <laughs> and Candace's father was fine until we found out what that skunk, scundrum did. He's a scundrum. And I don't even know what a scundrum is. We kind of just made that up today. But he's a scundrum. It's kind of like a, 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 a um, scum and, and a conundrum. He's a scundrum. So, yeah, because he, he, you know, he did what he did. We're not going to get into it in the video because we've talked about this so many times. But he did what he did. And so, like I said, he was fine until we found out what his little scundrum ass did. Damn scundrum. And then um, this other guy, he's not fine. The financial advisor that's trying to get her like financial help because, you know, Catherine left um, Hannah, the executor of her $286 million. And so now these financial advisors, they're um, coming to her trying to make her like sign all these business deals. And she's like, mm-mm. You know what? Is it me or do you just hear Amazing Grace in every scene that Hannah is in? Like every scene Hannah is in, I just hear just not even the words. It's just the hum and the vibrato. I just hear Amazing Grace in every scene Hannah is in, and I don't want to hear Amazing Grace in every scene. I don't. People want to hear Amazing Grace in every scene. I just can't, Catherine. No, I just can't take it. I can't take it. I just ain't nothing good ever gonna happen for me. I'm starting to believe her. Oh, nothing good. Where's Benny? Oh, where's Benny? Oh, where's my grandson? Where's Candace? Candace won't call me. Mitch won't call me. Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, okay. Okay, can she find a $20 bill on the way to work one day? Like, just one fucking good thing. One good thing. So we don't have to hear Amazing Grace on this one scene. Just one scene. In eight years, we do not have to hear Amazing Grace. And I love Amazing Grace. I love his eyes are on a sparrow. I love from every mountain, but I don't want to hear it every day. I like lasagna, but I don't want to eat it every day. For eight years. I can't. So I told y'all I had other tea. Because that is tea. It's just a tea. Mm. This is real hot. I can, I can see this thing. It looks like volcano lava behind me. So... I'm just saying, all these men, they're after Hannah. Like, she is giving us, like, at least Claire Huxtable. At least Claire Huxtable. She still has that Ola Ray wig on from Thriller. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to fuck you up, honey. <laughs> if, this break, if, you, if you laugh at, if you laughed at me saying that Hannah has an Ola Ray wig and if you don't know who Ola Ray is, you need to Google because you're too young. But you need to go because Hannah does have an Ola Ray wig on. Dun dun dun. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can't. I can't. 
Why are they doing this to her? Everybody, and you need to stand up for yourself, Hannah, and say, I, I need at least, I don't know. I need a wig that's updated. Like you can be, you can have the the the, the maid wig when you're the maid, but you got to have a, a you know a come come get this come get this auntie when you off work, honey. You need one of them kind of wigs, honey. Come get some, come get you some of this auntie. Auntie, come get this auntie. Come get this auntie. Do do do. Come get this auntie. Mm -hmm. Come get this auntie. Mm -hmm. Come get this auntie. Come get this auntie. Right. Aunties be moving slow, but honey, they still got that auntie, honey. Uh, 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 go get this auntie. Come get this auntie. Come get this auntie, honey. And that's what I need Hannah to do. I need her to get a wig. One of them come get this auntie wig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all are nuts. <laughs> Y'all so crazy. Ooh. Oh my God. I'll never come get this out to you, Eddie. <laughs> oh. oh my God, that took me out. Oh. <laughs> Never hold on, hold on, child. <laughs> Come get this auntie. Mm, 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 mm. Come get this auntie. Mm, 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 mm. Come get this auntie. Come get this auntie. Mm, uh, 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 uh. Come get this auntie. Uh. What's that making the stallion? Body, 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 body. Honey, aunties be like, shit, we got our own remix. Got the aunt, the auntie remix. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god! If you think it's funny, honey, definitely like the video. <laughs> if you think it's hilarious, like the video. <laughs> if you've laughed one time in this video, like the video, please, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> All I hear is the song to I, all I hear is the song in my mind come get this auntie honey. And it is giving it to me the way I like it. <laughs> so I see you guys next time on the Mario Ramon review. Definitely um tell me, comment, and tell me what um I missed or if I missed a one of a scene or something like that. If there's something I missed, comment. And then um also did you see the premiere or the um review what do you call it the preview the preview for next week when david tells hannah he's sexually attracted to her honey i was gonna crack my neck but i'm gonna wait and see i'm gonna wait and see I'm, I'm, you know I, what would he tell her that for what would he tell her that that's like maya angelou telling marilyn manson he's a treasure I'm attracted to you. And he got one eye, one blue eye, and a, a, a whole entire panty, pantyhole outfit on. You know, uh, Marilyn Manson be wearing that lingerie, honey, with them heels. He be wearing that lingerie, and he be like, dun, dun, doing scary dances. Looking at you all in your eye with one blue eye. Don't look at me in my eye with one blue eye, bitch. No, honey. I do not subscribe to demon worship, and no, I be like this praying, mm -hmm. singing Amazing Grace, honey. <laughs> now you want me back, honey. Back in the day, you didn't want me, but now, now I'm hot, y'all are on me. That's what Amazing Grace says. Like you just got saying, you didn't want to hear Amazing Grace in every scene, honey. But now Marilyn Manson walked in the room, and you turned your head and you singing Amazing Grace, honey, and you rocking. You know, gospel music don't mean the same unless you rock and you know. Me once was lost, but now you gotta rock and I'm found. Well, cause it's just if you just say that, was one, it's like cereal with with no milk, honey. You gotta rock, honey. Let the people know you feel it. It's okay. 
just like, but now I see. All right, peace. I'll see you next time on the Mario Ramon Review. God bless you and happy Thanksgiving. And if you see my lips are dry, right? And drier than a camel's ass in July because it's the weather and it's just dry. And I need my humidifier. But I had to do this show, okay? And I'll see you guys next time on the Mario Ramon Review. Oh, Alexa, continue. Alexa, play last song. Because we got to do this. Here's what you recently played. It's going to be on December. Hey. You tell her all my business, Alexa. You are a dirty dog. You can't. How many minutes? Oh my God, 26 minutes. It feels like it's only 10 minutes. I had so much fun with you. Okay, we're about to end it, okay? We're just gonna do a little dance. Oh my God, we're here, we're in COVID, it's 2020. Um, I'm very grateful to be here and I'm grateful for you and you know, hanging out with me, watching the videos and commenting and you know, letting me know that there's life on the other end of the camera. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time, peace.